What is up, guys? We've got another uh, Star Wars Legion vlog style battle report for you. I am going to be running uh, kind of my tournament prep list uh, as I am getting ready for LSO today. Um, and so uh, you've already seen this list. I've got it linked uh, in the description below. And I hope you enjoy this battle report. I'll be playing my friend Avery uh, here on this sweet uh, Naboo terrain. Uh, it's going to be a good game. And uh, make sure to stay tuned. Okay guys, uh, here with another uh, battle report. Got the one and only Mr. Avery over there running some clone commandos and uh, gonna uh, have a fun game today. My army is led by Krennic. As you know, I've been playing a lot of Krennic Inquisitors. I'm getting some practice in because I'll be doing LSO pretty soon and I'm pretty sure this is what I'm gonna run for LSO. So I've got Krennic uh, with, uh, well you've seen the list, there's Krennic. There's Seventh Sister and Fifth Brother over there. Uh, we got some range troopers over here who are going to try and cause some havoc that I'll show you in just a second. And then back here, going towards my moisture evaporators, we've got some death troopers, shore troopers. That mortar is over there. He obviously can't tap. I'll run you through Mr. Avery's list. Avery is running triple clone commandos with some Rex and Padme. Uh, we've got Rex up in here somewhere. Where's Rex at? Where's he hiding at? Oh, I see him right there. There's There he is right there, right next to Padme. We got some clone commandos who infiltrated over here. Another infiltrated clone commando there. And then there's another one who infiltrated behind this building, ready to pop up and, and sabotage those moisture evaporators. We got Echo Strike Team back there as well. And then we just got a ball of clones over here. He's got a phase two with uh, boil and portable scanners and a mortar. And then he's got a phase one with a DC-15 and the medic. And then a phase one with an RPS. And I think that unit also has a medic, question mark? It does, yes. And then uh, his clone commandos have uh, the free stuff and the HQ uplink. So we're gonna dive into uh, turn one, I already had my card picked out. I don't know if Avery's picked his out yet. Yeah, I had to divulge. Boom, so. oh yeah, yeah, so he's got, he's he divulged Padme's card. And I am going to go with, you would question me. It is the uh, the permanent token sharing one. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how this uh, turn goes. We'll let you know in a minute. All right, so end of round one, it is about to get saucy up in here. So we have, uh, fifth brother and seventh sister get the order for me. They moved in last well, and walked into a couple standbys. Well, brother did at least. And then I had set up the Royal Guard anticipating the standbys to pop up so they can guardian off of that. We got the magic number on fifth brother. He took two wounds and is now enraged. And we are going to be able uh, to get in there and go crazy this round. Hopefully we got some IRG in there that can also get in there and melee and also uh, protect and help uh, keep them alive. So um, uh, we had Krennic move up over here and these uh, sto uh, snow troopers with the um, med droid are uh, close behind ready to uh, help support um, the Inquisitors. Krennic moved in right into range two of our death troopers so we can get that entourage order again this turn. And the range troopers are just going rogue over here and we are going to try and mess with these back that point so he's got his clone commandos on the roof on that one but he's just got an echo strike team back here so we're going to see if we can mess with that maybe disrupt some plans over here we had a lot of moving and dodging except for the two units that took standbys and i uh brother actually pulled these uh phase twos out a little closer uh for this turn so fifth brother has his force pushed down sister has hers up we have locked into our command cards for the turn and i have played come and prove it and he has played aggressive negotiations uh which is going to be pretty good because he can maybe get that unit to move away <laughs> run away <laughs> so yeah so oh and there's no they're not starting with with that aim token that 
goes away. So I'm guessing that's uh, uh, that's what's going to happen for you. My orders uh, go to Fifth Brother and Seventh Sister. They don't actually have any tokens out here uh, at the moment. So we'll take those away. And then Krennic is going to Entourage to the Death Troopers, but they are going to comms relay, relay that to the Shore Troopers over here who will coordinate to the Mortar and the Shores will get an AIM token because of it. And who's your order going to? So, uh, technically this is the commander, so you may wanna... Oh, Boyle is, yep, yeah. yep. I forgot Boyle was there. You can just put Boyle there. Okay. Yep. So Boyle squad and then Padme, but I'm sending her orders to uh, probably this RP6 squad. RPS, yep. RPS squad, so. Cool. Okay, we'll see how the round goes. Okay, so we will show you this uh, move really quickly so you can see where this phase two unit in danger zone is gonna land. Uh -huh. The important part is he can get all those dudes who I cohered forward back and out of the danger zone. So I'm foreseeing a charge coming in. We'll see what happens. I do have priority. You know what? I'm just going to set it up so you guys can see it. <laughs> We're just going to do the thing. So I'm going to activate brother who is going to, we're going to demoralize um, Boyle's unit first off with our inquisitorious training. All right. So brother is just going to tap his offensive push. And because he is enraged and angry now, he is going to move into base these clone commandos. Sure and I, this. We've seen uh, this before. Right. <laughs> and, and you do, uh, you you get to snap them. Um, we get the aim from tapping offensive push. And because we played our token sharing card, um, sister gets a dodge. All right, so five black with an aim. Ooh, pretty good roll this time. And here's the aimed one. We got five. Here's one. You gonna dodge one from Padme? Yeah. And are they at range of a complete the mission token? They are not, so they are not surging. And oh, oh no, I think I just wiped them. Uh, I think that I don't want to pierce it actually though. Okay. Because I don't want your whole army to shoot at fifth brother the rest of this turn. <laughs> So we're not going to pierce leaving one. Uh, wait, you can share. Are you at range one of your, you're not at range one of your phase twos. No, so no yes. surge sharing. Yep. Okay. So just one lives, just the unit leader. Okay. We got a big shot coming in here. Uh, we've got the commandos who uh, had an aim from target are going to shoot. Uh, they're, uh, they recovered and got their range two gun with, uh, all with the black uh, dice and they recovered and are fire supporting in Boyle's unit for a whopping 15 dice. I got a name. I got one aim to use. So we'll... Woo! Let's see, this one went out. Do you, do we count oh, that yeah, or yeah, we roll, roll it? Roll it. Okay. Hello. Okay. I don't know if that, that was blank or what. I don't know. We'll, can't, we'll just consider it blank. Okay. So go ahead and pull out your six. Well, yeah, go for it. Okay, we'll do all the successes first. Uh, Commandos will be surging on the hit. Well, critical two. They've got critical two, so you can convert two of them. Uh, but you're at range of green squad, so you can spend their reliable one. Um, so you've got two crits there, and then you could spend your reliable token there. Okay. And then you got your aim still. Yep, so we roll two. Nice. Uh, that one is nothing. Okay. Um, and then that one goes to cover, and then one more goes to cover, and then that leaves uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven! All right, so we're going to Guardian 2 on the uh, Royal Guard. They take two, lose a guy. Um, and then we have uh, spent two dodges, um, so that is uh, uh, the two, Guardian Two brought it down to uh, Guardian Two brought it down to nine. Dodging Two brought it down to seven. Turn like that. And she has five health. 
and she does gain she does gain surge to block now. And she oh my god doesn't take a single wound. That is nuts. <laughs> she will take a suppression. <laughs> okay, so sister got angry that they decided to shoot at her, and she rallied, did not roll it off even with Indomitable. She moved, force push, and then them into her, and now we're rolling, and it is going to be three Pierce one. So one for three, huh? three Pierce one into the commandos, and again, not in the, uh, not they are not in their uh, range of their complete the mission token. So they will, or they are, they are, yeah. they are, they yeah. definitely are. Uh, so they do surge to block. We will pierce that though, and they will take uh, two wounds. Okay, well, end of round two. Um, I ended up losing brother, and he used, exhausted both his medics to bring back these clone commandos, which is unfortunate. Uh, we've got a sister engaged right here, uh, full health, and our. Uh, our snowtroopers did move up and medic back a um, IRG on one wound. However, it did die um, again, which is fine. It served its purpose. Um, we've got, um, yeah, so that's kind of the state over there. Krennix over here. Um, we've still got our shores, mortars, and death troopers back here. It is now round three, so we can shoot at normal ranges. Uh, we've got our range troopers back here who lost a dude because Echo picked one of them off. We've got commandos on the roof back here again. Uh, and then we have this clone ball back here. So I'm really excited about this turn because I am about to play a two pip and guarantee myself going first because of some interplay between Seventh Sister and, uh, and uh, um, Krennic. So Sister makes uh, this Call Me Captain a two pip because she's at range one of Rex, and then because this is a Krennic card, that means that uh, Krennic wins the tie, because the Call Me Captain now becomes a two-pip, and then Krennic wins the tie uh, because he is cunning, which means my two-pip goes before his one-pip. <laughs> so, so that's no fun. Uh, especially because Rex can fire support into that melee, so that's pretty miserable. Um, but yeah, we got uh, got some fun stuff uh, going on for this turn, so we'll, we'll let you know how it goes. Okay, end of round. This one was a lot bloodier for the Empire. Uh, clones are well ahead on attrition, um, just killing stuff. I have Sister, she's already got two wounds. Um, the IRG died, my Snow Troopers died. I've got Krennic here who's still alive. I've got the Death Troopers back here who's moved out after putting the fourth wound on. Uh, oh, also we've been going the wrong way, but we'll fix that here in a second. What's that? Uh, we've been both wounding, but we'll fix it here in a second. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, I've got to tap that one more time, uh, and the uh, I've got range troopers alive over here. He's got Echo over here. Pulled off a shot on Echo. Echo has one wound. Um, these clone commanders are fine. They tap this evaporator all the way, but there is one more uh, one more tap that he needs to make over here. So it's it it could be very interesting if I can kill Echo before he is able to tap. So. Um, we will have to see what happens uh, with command cards. Okay, we've got our command cards. I have gone with Voracious Ambition, and he's gone with We're Not Programmed. Just trying to get the best odds at pulling my range troopers first. Okay, big pull here. Um, I was able to pull my range troopers before Echo is able to activate. So we've got the dice pool ready. They are just going to aim and shoot, which means they're gonna have two aims available uh, to shoot Echo. So here's our first roll. Really good first roll. That's not looking good for Echo. It's looking great for the Empire. We're gonna spend our first aim. We are going to spend our second aim. And we don't surge. Two are gonna go to cover and it's gonna leave four. Four. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! And that will do it for Echo. That is bad news yeah. for the clones. That is going to here. We're just going to fix this now. We're going to say that you're repairing these. So that means that 
there is the echo is dead and there is still a wound on this uh, on this moisture evaporator we're gonna see if those clone those clone commandos they're gonna have to pull it off for the Republic if there's gonna be any hope of uh, of them winning here they, they could probably do it we'll see what happens okay it's getting real spicy now uh, we are we got our range troopers, the commandos pop down, pull the scatter shot off on the range troopers. Rolled four natural crits off that first shot, that was pretty impressive. Um, and then uh, um, scattered them out. We still got sister in the middle, she killed two phase ones. Uh, and there's still in melee with that clone commando, she took a wound last turn. Krennic is over here hanging out still, death troopers moved up closer. We put our last wound on that bat back there. Um, so uh, we are ahead by one on objectives currently. His army is running away currently, I think, in order to prevent... Because um, he is ahead on kill points right now, because he's killed my IRG, and he killed my... Snowtroopers uh, and... Uh, Snowtroopers and Fifth Brother. And range troopers are also in the danger zone here, so uh, we're going to see what happens here. I played Annihilation Looms. We're going to try and slow everybody down. Uh, and he guaranteed going first by playing that one pip because uh, I am out of one and two pips now. Um, so his order, who's your order going to go to? You can go to Padme or you can authoritate it to somebody else. Okay. Yep, he's going to give that to Boyle thing, I'm going who has four suppression. And I'm going to transfer two of these suppression tokens. Uh-huh. And for each transfer she gains a dodge of the two dodges. Cool. Um, my orders are going to go to uh, Krennic, uh, and then we are going to, oh, also everybody gets two more suppression, by the way. Oh. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to issue the other order to the short troopers back here to coordinate to the mortar. Um, that's going to give the short troopers an aim. I'll pull it out later. I'm having a hard time getting it out. Um, and then we are going to issue the last order from the card to Sister, and then we will entourage the Death Troopers, which means we have that sweet range trooper token. Focus, focus camera. We have that sweet range trooper token in the bag, but it technically, I'm just gonna put it up next to the range troopers. But that is our stack, and so we've got full order control this turn, which will be very nice. Everybody is gonna get two suppression tokens, and we'll see if that's gonna slow them down. I do have strict orders on Krennic, so that's gonna help me um, out a lot this turn. Okay guys, well we have called it. I pulled my range troopers before, um, well I had perfect order control, um, and so I was able to activate my range troopers before he was able to go with his commandos, and all I had to do was just double move into melee, um, because uh, they uh, were not, they are three moves away from this moisture evaporator. So there's no way that they, uh, and we are in round five, so they don't have enough actions to physically get over there. So that is going to prevent this evaporator from being tapped. So we have called it at the end of the game. Um, I had sister, he, he definitely killed more stuff than I did. Um, I had sister with just one wound left. Uh, range troopers over here uh, with just three dudes left. Got death troopers, full health short, mortar back there, and Krennic. I did lose my IRG and brother and my snow troopers. Um, and he really only lost his two uh, two of the three commando units. Everything else was kind of alive. Boyle had a ton of suppression, but but yeah, it was a pretty good game. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.